In today's video, join me as I bring Tetris to life through the magic of 3D printing. Tetris is a game that I'm sure you're all familiar with and I got my first introduction to it at about age five when my granddad gifted me this, my first ever Game Boy. And although I will admit I'm pretty bad at playing the game, this music has stuck with me ever since. Likewise, I've always been fascinated by the shapes in the game and these are called Tetraminos. And you might not know this, but Tetraminos are not unique to the game Tetris. They are simply a geometric shape consisting of four squares and if you'd like to learn more about them the wikipedia page is a great place to start and speaking of my fascination with Tetraminos, over on my second channel, I recently made this video where I made Tetramino waffles. And if you'd like to check that video out after watching this one, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So when I got this brand new Bamboo Lab 3D printout with an AMS, I was thinking, what project should I work on? And what's more perfect than making my very own Tetramino fridge magnets inspired by the Tetris game sprites? And that is what I'm going to be showing you the process of today. Firstly, making some single color Tetraminos and then utilizing the AMS to make some multicolored ones. So let's start designing on Fusion 360. Okay, so to make designing these Tetraminos a bit easier, I'm going to change the grid settings in Fusion to ones that match the pixels of the design. And to do that, I can just click grid settings down here and then also make sure it's set to fixed. And then if we look at this Tetramino, you can see this one and all the other ones are all made up of four blocks of eight by eight pixels. And I think if I make each pixel one millimeter, so eight by eight millimeters, that's gonna be quite small for a magnet. So I'm gonna make each pixel two millimeters, which is gonna be 16 by 16. So I can change this major grid spacing here to be 16 millimeters and then the subdivision to eight. So we get this nice eight by eight grid to work in. So to replicate this shape, I'm gonna start with a 2D sketch and I can do that by clicking create sketch up here and then setting it to this plane. And you can see that this shape is made up of four blocks. So I'm gonna start by using the rectangle tool and just put it into construction mode. And then I can draw those four blocks to get the shape in the right size. And you can see it's quite easy to do this because we set those grid settings and just using the snap to grid feature, it all snaps into the right place. And now I can turn that into a line, turn off the construction lines and then just trace around that to get my owl shape. And now that that's done, I can just click finish sketch. And the next step is to actually make this 3D by extruding it. And to do that, it's really simple. I'm just gonna click on the shape, click on extrude up here. And then I've got this box where I can type in the height that I want. And I plan on making my Tetraminos eight millimeters high. So I'm gonna set the body of them as six millimeters, which gives me two millimeters to create the 3D design. And now that I've got that 3D shape, I can use it as a base to actually start drawing the design on. And to do that, I'm gonna just create another sketch and then place it on top of the 3D shape. And I can start drawing this design just once again using the rectangle tool and just copying it. I'm gonna start with the first block here, which has three different squares in it like this. So put one, two, and then three. And I'm just gonna continue that for the other three blocks. So now I've finished adding those shapes to the sketch, I can just click finish sketch here. And to actually create the 3D design, I'm just gonna be extruding certain elements. So if you look at the Tetramino over here, you can see there's the black sections and the colored sections. So I'm just gonna be extruding the black sections by two millimeters. And to do that, I can just shift click all of the sections I want to extrude so that they're all selected. Click extrude up here and then just set that to two millimeters. And now we can move on to the final step, adding the magnet holes. And to do that, I'm just gonna go back to the original sketch I created, sketch one, and draw some circles on here for the magnets to go onto. And to make sure they're in the right place, I'm gonna start with some construction lines. So I can just draw lines in at both of these squares, which gives me a nice center for my circle to snap onto. So if I go to the circle tool, turn off the construction lines, and then I can draw that there. And the magnets I've got are 10 millimeters by two millimeters. So to make sure they've got enough space, I'm gonna set this as 10.2 millimeters. I can do the second one as well, and then click finish sketch. And then if I go to the bottom there, you can see these circles. So if I shift click on those, I can extrude them. And like I said, the magnets are two millimeters and I do want them to stick out slightly. So I'm gonna set my holes as one millimeter um, like that, making sure that is cutting a hole and then I can click OK. Now that design is ready to be exported, sliced and 3D printed. But before I do that, I'm gonna get the other six Tetraminos that you can see on the screen here designed. So let's get that done. So 
So now they're all designed, I'll just go back to the first one that I designed this J shape and I'll export it and 3D print it. And to export it, it's quite simple. I can just click file up here and then click 3D print and not export. If I click that, click on the model that I need, make sure that it is set as an STL and also that this center 3D print utility is not clicked. And then if I press okay, and just save that to my desktop as J. So now that model has been exported, the next step is to get it sliced. And to do that, I've got Bamboo Studio open here. And if I just move this window across slightly, you can see that JSDL that we exported. And I can drag that in and it will place the model on the build plate. So make this full screen again. I do want to print two of this. So to do that, I'm just going to clone this and create a copy and then arrange them nicely onto the build plate and I can click slice and to do this I'm just using the default settings and also some bamboo PLA. You can see it says here it will take 24 minutes to print so I'll press print in a second get it printed and I'll be back when that's done. So here they are straight from the printer. And I will say I am really happy with how these have turned out, especially the 3D effect, given we only printed these in one color. But now it is time to add the magnets. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I've got my magnets here and also my super glue and I've just added a drop of the glue into each of these holes which hopefully you can see on the camera and this is quite nerve-wracking to do as these magnets do have a tendency to fly everywhere. So I'm just gonna carefully put one in this hole and then I slide it away and hold it into place. That magnet is in that hole. I can do the second one in the same way like that. And now I just need to leave these for 30 minutes for the glue to dry and then they should be ready to use. Okay, the glue has now dried. So these are ready to go on the fridge, but I didn't want to drag a fridge in here. So we'll have to make do with this magnetic board so I can put them on here alongside the rest of the set that I printed earlier. And I have to admit, I am really happy with how these have turned out. The 3D effect has worked really well. You can definitely tell the difference between each of the Tetraminos. But now I've created these single colored ones. I think it is a time to utilize the AMS with my Bamboo Lab. They can handle four different colors to print some multicolored Tetraminos. So that is what I'm gonna do now. So creating the multicolored Tetraminos is a very similar process to the single color ones. And I've already gone through the first few steps here. So I've created the shape and then also extruded it, this time to seven millimeters rather than at six. And I'll explain why that is in a moment. But first I'm gonna create this sketch so I can draw the design. So click on the top here and I can start drawing this design out once again with the squares. And my Bamboo AMS does have four colors and obviously this design is three colors, so that's perfect. So I'm just gonna copy this design out. You can see it has this sort of shadow effect here with the white and the black. So I'm gonna replicate that with these two lines here. And then I'm just gonna finish this process for the rest of the blocks. And now I can click finish sketch and it's all ready to extrude. And this is where the process differs from that single color Tetramino. As before, we were extruding two at different levels to create that 3D effect. However, with this, we want to extrude all of the parts to the same level, but just make sure they're different bodies as when they go into bamboo, they can be colored in. And if that does sound a bit confusing, hopefully it'll be a bit clearer when we drag it into the slicer. But I'm going to start extruding. So I'll start with this one at first and just extrude by one millimeter. And I'm only doing one millimeter as we only want a few different layers of the color. Make sure that sketch is turned on so we can see it. And then I'm gonna select each part like this, press the E button for extrude and then extrude that by one and just making sure that this operation is set from join to new body. So each one is a new body. And I can carry on doing that for the rest of these bodies. And just like I did with the single color ones, I've added some magnet holes at the bottom, which you can see here. So now that's all extruded, the next step is to get it exported, which is a different process from the single color Tetramino, as I wanna make sure that I am exporting all of these bodies into one file. So to do this, I'm gonna press file, and then this time I will click export, 
make sure that it is a 3MF file and then I'll just save it to the desktop as T. Okay, I've got that 3MF file on the desktop here ready for slicing. And to do that, I'm just gonna drag it in to the Bamboo Studio slicer. You see it's slightly different from before as it asks a question, basically just saying there is multiple objects, which there is, so I'll click yes. You can see it's loaded in on the build plate in a single color, and I wanna color this in. And to do that, I can click on assembly view here, and you can see all of the colors up here. We have a black, white, and green, and I've got all of that filament loaded into my Bamboo AMS. And to color it in, I can click objects and then just select the bodies that I want to change the color of so if we start with these ones you can see on the reference image that these are green and to change them I can click either the green up here or press three on my keyboard I can just go through and change the colors of the other bodies so if I do this section which once again is green and then finally this white section here and now it is nicely colored in Okay, so now that's all coloured in, I can press return here to leave assembly view. And because I want this to have the nice texture from the textured build plate, I'm going to lay it with the colour face down. And to do that, I can just click on it, click on lay on a face and then press on the face like that. You see it turns it face down. I do want to make two of these. So I'm going to clone it and just make a copy here and then make sure it's nice arranged on the build plate. And now that I've done that, all that's left to do is to get it sliced and then get it printed, which is what I'm gonna do now. straight from the printer and like before I have added the magnets to the back of these ones and I will say I am really happy with how these have turned out definitely using the textured build plate and printing the colors face down has made them look super cool almost like they're not even 3d printed and in a true blue pizza fashion here is the rest of them that I prepared earlier you can see I can put this one up here we have a full set of the seven at the top and down here I've just showed that you can interconnect them look I can put this one in like that and I guess you could play a game of Tetris using these although I don't know how you'd make them disappear but overall, I am really pleased with how both sets of these Tetraminos have turned out. I think personally, I prefer the look of the multicolored ones, but definitely let me know in the comments below which ones you prefer, the multicolored ones or the single colored ones with the 3D effect. And as usual, I will upload all of the files for the single color and also the multicolor to printables. And as I did design these for the bamboo, I'll also upload to Maker World as well. Finally, I'd just like to say that I really enjoyed creating these Tetraminos and I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And if you did, you should check out my last 3D printing video where I transformed Atari 2600ET and Mario into 3D printed figures. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And also I'd love for you to let me know in the comments what other 8-bit characters you'd like to see me bring to life with 3D printing. But that's all for today. I'll see you next time.